All right, so we've got uh, two devices, one Raspberry Pi that is the emitting device or the source that is feeding through to these speakers. Um, and this is our radiating element here. And we've got a little script running. Uh, right now it's sweeping through uh, four groups of 15 seconds at one, two, three, and four kilohertz. But we can very easily set this to effectively inject a random failure in an otherwise static frequency uh, to test for failure modes. and. Ultimately, what we're trying to do is have this generate a normal condition most of the time and then some other condition that creates a material change that can be picked up by a detecting system. On the detecting system, the input here is one of these Raspberry Pis that's running Project Fourier and it's simply doing a Fourier analysis. We've got a USB microphone that's coming in here and the microphone is listening to the sounds and we're running this analysis here and if there's a material change from the prior state, it triggers and sends a trigger out. So in this one, every 15 seconds, we are seeing three and four kilohertz in our new one. So I'll actually, if I run it here. Sampling that one kilohertz, and we should see it happen up here. There we are, one kilohertz. Recording, mostly one kilohertz in that second recording. And when it next records, it'll get a, here we are, two kilohertz recording. You should see it up here. Right. Recording at three kilohertz. There it is, material change. So we've basically got a simple transmitter and a simple receiver, one emitting um, pi, one receiving and an analyzing pi and we can configure these to basically um, fire off alerts or uh, anything else that we want to direct it at. Thanks.